first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this video we are going to solve set number 4 pie chart that is based on model number 1 so here is the chart so what they are saying is there are total number of students are 2160 and there are going to school by different way of transport such as walk by walk 80 degree of students are going remember that all the values that are given inside the chart are in terms of degree so 80 degree bus is 90 degree train is 120 degree and just listen the value of car is given as x degree we have to find how much a uh, degree of students are traveling by car so what you need to do how, how will you find the value of car how much degree it is in the basics right in the introduction what i have told you is there are two types of chart one is the chart value that is based on percentages and the second is the chart value that is based on degree in case if the chart value that is based on percentages if you add all the values that are given inside the chart it should be 100 percentage in case if all the values are given in degree if you add all the values that are given in degree it should be 360 degree got it now here you can able to see walk is 80 degree bus is 90 degree train is 120 degree then definitely if you add all the values that are given inside the chart it should be 360 degree so what we can do is just add walk bus and train alone so 120 degree is train so walk is 80 degree so 120 plus 80 will be 200 so 200 plus 90 will be 290 so totally we are getting 290 degree and we already know that if you add all the values that are inside the chart it should be 360 degree so total is 360 degree and the given values are 290 degree so if you subtract both these values then 70 degree will be the value of car understood so total minus given 3 that is walk bus and train so remaining will be car which is 70 degree so finally we found that the value of car which is 70 degree understood now let me move on to all the questions right so because in all the previous videos where all the values are given in the chart itself but here one value is not given so initially we found what is the value of car and then we can proceed to all the five questions okay so now let me move on to question number one the number of student who come to school by car just see our target to find the total number of students who are coming to school by a car so car is how much degree that we found is 70 degree so 70 degree out of 2160 students 70 degree of students are coming by a car so what we can do is 70 divided by 360 into 2160 so cancel 0 and 0 here so we can cancel this 6 times because uh, 6 6 are 36 remaining will be 3 18 21 so 6 times so 420 so finally answer for question number 1 is 420 students are coming to school by a car question number 2 the ratio of number of students who come to school by car to the number of students who come to school by a bus so what is our target our target to find the ratio between the students those who are coming by a car okay as to students those who are coming by a bus it's very easy because how much car car we already know that 70 degree of students are traveling in car and the bus 90 degree of students are traveling so we can cancel degree and degree so similarly we can cancel 0 and 0 so finally answer for question number 2 is 7 is to 9 so this will be the answer for question number 2 question number 3 the total number of students coming to school either by walking or by buses so what is the target our target to find the total number of students who are coming either by walking what is the meaning of either either by walking okay or by bus so which means our target to find the total number of students who are coming by walking plus the total number of students who are coming by bus which is called as either if it is an either or then you need to add walking as well as we need to find the total number of students who are traveling in a bus so walking how much students 80 degree of students are traveling by walking and the bus it is 90 degree so let me add all this so a resultant will be 170 degree right 170 degree of students who are traveling by both walking as well as bus so of total number of students is 2160 
so 170 divided by 360 into 2160 and we already know that cancel 0 and 0 so cancel this on 6 times so finally we got 170 into 6 so this will be 0 42 so remaining will be 4 so 10 right 6 and 10 yes 1020 0, 0. so 1020 0, 0 will be the total number of students who are coming by walking as well as bus so this will be the answer for question number 3 question number 4 the number of students who do not come to school by a train is so they are asking that the students total number of students who are not coming by a train which means we need to find the students who are coming by walk bus and car the total number of students right so what we can do is first let me find what is the total number of students who are traveling by a train just see here total number of students who are traveling by a train is 120 degree out of how many students 2160 students so 120 divided by 360 into 2160 cancel 0 and 0 so which is 6 times so 720 right so totally 720 students are traveling to school by a train but what is our target our target to find the total number of students who are not traveling by a train then what we can do total number of students is 2160 minus of the students those who are traveling in a train which is 720 so if you subtract both these value then the remaining number of students will definitely travel by walk bus and car got it so subtract this so 0 which is 4 11 4 again 1 so 1140 school students are traveling to school by walk bus and car got it understood there are many ways to solve this question so i feel that it is easy right the, either you can subtract like this or otherwise better you can add walk degree bus degree and car degree you can find the answer it's completely your wish got it so first what i did is I just found the total number of students who are traveling by train. So after finding it, I subtract with the total so that the resultant will be the students, those who are not traveling by train. Understood? So answer for question number 4 is 1440 students. Question number 5. The number of students coming to school by bus exceeds by what percentage to the total number of students who are coming to school by walking? Friends, read the question again. Can you able to find a clue word? What is the first clue word that we found? Is what percentage? H. So what percentage? And also there is an another clue word also, which is called as exceeds. Exceeds is nothing but more, right? More is also called as exceeds. So totally we found both the clue words. The first clue word is what percentage? <coughs> and the second clue word is more. If you find what percentage as well as more, what is the formula? X is what percentage more or less than Y. So the formula is X minus Y divided by Y into 100. So what is the value of X? Here the value of X is students, those who are coming by bus. And the value of Y is students, those who are coming by walking. So bus how much percentage of students 90 degree sorry 90 degree of student and walking 80 degree of student just substitute all the values here so 90 degree minus 80 degree so divided by 80 degree into 100 so 90 minus 80 will be 10 degree so 10 degree divided by 80 degree into 100 so here cancel degree and degree so similarly cancel 0 and 0 here so finally we got 100 divided by 8 so 1 8 are 8 remaining will be 2 that is 20 8 2s are 16 so remaining will be 4 40 8 5s are 40 so 12.5 percentage will be the answer for the last question friends understood so this last question is important remember that read the question again and again to find the clues right after reading this question number 5 we found the word first clue that is what percentage and the second clue is called as exceeds. So exceeds can also be taken as more, right? So what percentage plus more? So resultant will be the second formula. So this question number, that is set number four, is a little bit simple. But remember, in case if one value is not given in the chart, so initially try to find that and then try to solve the remaining five questions. Then it will be very easy. 
so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to watch the remaining videos on my youtube channel so thank you so much bye